Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about this one because today we're going to talk about breathing. Yes, I know you probably expected something else when clicking on this video considering this title, but believe me, it's going to be worth your time. Alright, what's up? So before we jump into it, allow me to introduce myself for those of you who are new here. My name is Joris Rampen and I am a professional saxophone player currently studying classical saxophone at the Brussels Conservatory. I started this channel about a month ago to share with you guys everything I know about the saxophone. Okay, enough introduction, I think it's time to get started with the actual video. So, when breathing you can fill three zones in your upper body with air. The belly, the chest and the shoulders. When playing the saxophone we want to fill the belly and the chest with as much air as possible. But we want to leave the shoulder zone empty, because filling that one would result in lifting the shoulders, which stops you from being relaxed, and because that air is located so high, it becomes difficult for you to use it while playing. The only way to really get rid of it is to take a breath or to exhale it normally. Or you could do inverse circular breathing, but that's really something for another video. By the way, let me know in the comment section down below if you would want a video on that subject or any other subject in particular for that matter. So remember, belly and chest, no shoulders, okay? It also doesn't matter which one you fill first, I personally like to start low and work my way up. Meaning first belly, then chest. But I've seen lots of great saxophone players do it the other way around. Now that we've seen the theory, let's do some exercises around that type of breathing. However, before we jump into these, let me remind you that if you got any value out of this video so far, there's a subscribe button in the bottom right corner as well as below the video just waiting to be smashed by you. Because guess what? This is just the beginning and there's much more content coming in the next few weeks and months. So if you're serious about improving your saxophone playing, the best thing you can do right now is hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified by my future uploads, you can click on the bell right next to the subscribe button as well. Thank you. Here's the rest of the video. The goal of this exercise is to fill up your lungs as if you were going to play the saxophone, but then just exhale normally and keep going until you don't have any air left. When arriving at the end, take three more short exhales to fully empty your lungs. Hold then your breath a couple seconds and then let your lungs fill again with air. Make sure that when doing that you're not filling the shoulder zone. Let's do the exercise step by step. Step 1. Take a deep breath as if you were going to play the saxophone. Step 2. Exhale until you don't have any air left anymore. Step 3. When you believe you've exhaled all the air in your lungs, take 3 more short exhales. Step 4. Hold your breath for as long as you can while being empty. Step 5. Take a deep breath again and feel your lungs fill up with air. Let's do it together one more time. Alright, if you're doing it right, you should feel that you're inhaling a lot of air very quickly at the end. And that's the most important thing. Because that's the way you should be breathing when playing the saxophone. You really want to imitate taking the breath exactly like you did when performing the exercise. Another way of working on this is by really separating the two zones and getting to know the feeling of having them both filled up to the maximum. Once you know how it feels, you can start speeding up the process, going from what I showed you previously to something like this. 
The most important thing to keep in mind when doing this fast is that you want to be just as full with air after taking the breath as when you're doing it slowly. This is the most difficult part of the process, as it's very likely that you'll start taking smaller and smaller breaths as you go faster, simply because you got less time. The last step would be to stop separating the two zones and breathing in just one go. Remember, this is probably one of the most important things to master when playing the saxophone, because it all starts with a good breath, otherwise you'll be struggling very quickly when playing. However, this really is something which will not directly impact the saxophone playing. Think of it more like ear training. We all need to have good ears as a musician, but they're not necessarily going to make us play instantly better on the saxophone. Pro tip interruption. Learning a better way of breathing will also help you manage your stress before performance, so it's a win-win situation. Most people never think about their breathing and only breathe to survive, instead of getting all the benefits from a good way of breathing in their everyday life. The next step then is to of course apply all this to your saxophone playing and therefore I suggest that you check out last week's video if you haven't yet already. It's a video about the low register on the saxophone, but we cover a lot of topics such as air quantity and air direction, which will help you not only with the low register, but across the entire horn. I'll leave the link to that video right underneath the like button. Alright, that's already it from me for today. I know it's been a short one this time, or at least it feels like it was. Uh, but remember to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me as well on Instagram at Joris Rampen if that's something you're into. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.